The spotlight is on a six-year-old boy who has defied the odds. At five months, doctors wrote George off and predicted that he would die undergoing treatment for meningitis. Six years later, George is alive and well. And even though his bout of meningitis resulted in cerebral palsy, George is determined to live on. Catherine Omanto is up next with the story of George Uwesonga in this week's Survivor Series. Six-year-old Rebecca was born with a twin. Hi, George. George Wesonga. The fourth month, George was attacked with meningitis. Kwa hivyo, Kata alikuwa attacked, we took him to the hospital. Because the Wasonga family could not afford treatment at a private hospital, George was referred to Musambweni Hospital in Kwale County. Even during that time, the doctors knew that we will not reach uh, Lakini mungu akawa pamoja nasi, akapea George uzima, tukafika. George later slipped into a coma after one month, and when he woke up and was discharged, his meningitis attack resulted in cerebral palsy. Na mtoto alikuwa in this position. Na kichwa, kikawa, kiko hivi. Na hawezi akasongesha kichwa, wala hawezi fanya lolote. Hii miku imejikunja kabisa, na the back was curved. Mimi nilikuwa sijawahi kukutana na mtoto wa cerebral palsy all my life huyu ndio wa kwanza Cerebral palsy is caused by damage to the motor control centers of a child's brain it can be caused by anything from childbirth to a bout of malaria the best approach is physiotherapy and occupational therapy. However, it is a process that requires a lot of patience. Doctors did not warn the Wasonga family that George's recovery process would not happen overnight, and their patients began to wear thin. Akaniambia, by four weeks, the boy will be sitting, and there will be great improvement on the boy. Kwa hivyo nikaanza kuenda, nikaanza kuenda. Hey, my husband akaniambia now, four weeks are, are almost... But there is no, nothing we are getting, we are seeing. I'm not going to go to my father and him. So I'm going to go to my father and him. I'm going to go to my father and him. I'm going to go to my father and him. I'm going to go to my father and him. I'm going to go to my father and him. There was a herbalist. Sasa, tukata, tukaenda, tukapewa madawa. Niko na twins, lakini, wananiambia five. Nianza kunya madawa na paka 11 ni sile chochote. Mimi ninywe ili kwamba mtoto afanye nini? Apata kinyonya itenda kuwa mdudu ule mdudu ambaye yuko ndani mwake atenda kufanya nini? Atenda kukufa na mtoto atakuwa vizuri. Kwa hivyo mimi nikawa na kunywa. Having tried everything that they could, the couple almost gave up trying to cure their son. Most of their neighbors didn't understand what they were going through. Hata sanginu kibeba mtoto kama mtu ame, ame akona mtoto wake, ataki mtoto wangu, wafesiane na mtoto wake, na push mtoto wake huko. We find a lot of people who think that uh, you either get a special needs child uh, because probably you, there's something wrong, you're cast or something. And uh, others believe that you, you do it because you give your, your child to uh, Majini or something of, of that nature so that you can get riches. So they tend to associate uh, uh, special needs children with either very poor people or very rich people. So a lot of people don't realize that anybody can get a special needs child for various reasons. Even though he would prompt stares, there are a number of children like George in Kuala County. Only you will never see them. Most parents opt to hide their children, and Kennedy Wasonga understands why. Wengi wana wafitia kwa sababu ya kujilinda wenyewe, shuma yao na family zao, ama itikati zao. Ama wana za kusema mtoto huyo. Two years ago, the couple was introduced to a center in Mombasa's Nyali area known as the Sapling Trust Foundation. This foundation provides education, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy for children with cerebral palsy and other special needs. 
It is run by Winnie, her husband, and a second couple. Winnie also has a child with special needs, and she knows exactly what the Wesonga family is going through. And that is why the center will never turn away a child with special needs, even if the parents cannot afford the treatment. It is from this kindness that George has made strides in his recovery process. George, mikono yake hi, aneza kanyosha, mtoto, mikuhi, iko straight, my boy can sit, my boy can turn, my boy can blink his eyes. And my boy, yani, he can hear a voice, in fact, even up. Sasa Sai, he knows my voice, he knows the father's voice. I always feel proud of this boy. Ninajua Mungu, somebody, some, something was there to rob us and to cause heavy grief to us. Like in God uh, protected us from uh, grieving. We tend to take a lot of things for granted, like simple hand gestures or even speaking the word hello. But George's family is happy to know that George can recognize their voices. Now, because George was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at such a young age, there is a possibility that with constant physiotherapy and occupational therapy, George may just one day be able to speak their names out loud. I'm Catherine Omwando for the Survivor Series.